Welcome back to Let's Find Fun. Today is John's birthday celebration extravaganza. We have Christian and Jamie here with us. Hello. <laughs> Jamie just almost fell over. Um, so you may have noticed that they were in last week's video. John did not properly introduce them. Forgive him. All right, so we are going to all of the places that John chooses to go to today. We are gonna go get lunch at King Bayo and then maybe some shaved ice and I think we're going to a brewery that has a lot of sours and wherever else John takes us today. We are at King Bale. We just got our order. I was gonna show you the ones that we have. Um, this is the hot chicken. This is John's order. The hot chicken, the katsu curry, and the hogzilla. And then this is the Glen Ree, the kicking chicken, and the vegan bill. And then these are the fire tots. Jamie just gave me her last bite of the Cuban because she said that's how good it is. But I'm gonna just take a small bite so she can have the rest. That's <laughs> super good. A little bit of pickle in there. All right, this is the hot chicken with the gochujang sauce. <laughs> That bite was really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. I love the sauce. And there's pickles on there too. Delish. This is the curry katsu. You can see all the curry on there. And the katsu breaded. Yes. So good. Curry sauce is really good. I like that a lot. And the breadedness is like typical katsu versus this one is like breaded differently. And this is the hogzilla. You can see right here. Look at that pork belly. Mm. That's good, but I like those two better. And these two are specials. This one's always on the menu though. Okay, what this one is? Oh, the Glen Ree. Look at that. That one is delicious. The Korean beef. And it has a apple salsa. And I love cilantro always. What's this one? Oh, this is the kimchi chicken one. That one has the cucumbers on it. That one looks really good. celebration so he should really be trying all of these anyway. I agree. We found that the 
shaped ice place that we got last time for my birthday is here. So it's perfect that we're getting it now for John's birthday. Hanalei shaped ice, she's so good, super legit, but you gotta see where she is. She just like pops up a bunch of different places, but we're at the house on Lang right now and that's where she is um, most often, I think. So very excited, not sure what flavor we're gonna get. That's gonna be good. It says happy birthday. So <laughs> all right, we all got our shaved ice. I ended up getting what I got last time because I loved it so much. This is the POG, the passion fruit orange guava, and she like makes the orange the guava marmalade. That's that right there. And her whipped cream is so good and we just really love her and y'all just need to find out where she is and go. It's so good. This is John's happy birthday one. Key lime pie stuffed with ice cream, right? Yeah. It's been taking a while, so it's a little soupy. Get that nice little slurp. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Whoa. And there's condensed milk too, huh? Yeah. You just got all the stuff. Oh, well. So it's super tart from the lime juice, and then you get the sweetness from the um, condensed milk. You have it on your nose. <laughs> And she put coconut on top, so it's like all the flavors. Oh my god. Don't get it on your jam hot shirt. Dumb. Yeah. Representing. I guess, real good. I guess it's good, yeah. John, tell us what we got. What we have here, my friends, blueberry cobbler sour. You get hints of the crust from the blueberry cobbler, and you get hit with a sour of the blueberry in the end. Very nice. You're looking at me, not this. Blueberry sour, not sure, it's a nine year anniversary release. Not a fan. And then this one is like cantaloupe. It has a fancier name, but it's basically a sour cantaloupe ale. Light hint of cantaloupe on the front, then you get the sour on the back end. Not bad, refreshing, okay. Which one's your favorite? Out of these? Yeah. Probably the blueberry. Yeah. Because you get the blueberry and you get the sour. All right, Jamie has to tell us about her strange one. So I love a seltzer more than a beer, and they have seltzers here, but they're like smoothie seltzers. So I asked her what that meant, and she said it wasn't like a white claw, it was more of like you had to like chew. It's just a thicker <laughs> texture. I know, chew was scary. But this is called the Tranquil Gardens. Tell me whatever you need. And it is like a matcha green tea, banana, tranquility essence. There's um, some yuzu in there. Yuzu. It's a definitely an experience for sure. Very matcha forward. You can definitely taste the banana. It's nice, but it's I I don't know if we can have another one. But it's an experience if you're interested in different seltzers. Kristen, what'd you get? I got the Irish Curse. Um, it's a malt beer with malts that they've imported from Ireland. And I'm guessing they call it the Irish Curse because it goes down pretty easy and there, it's a play on the stereotype that uh, Irishmen are alcoholics, so, <laughs> or at least love a good beer. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good though. I, I recommend it. So John ordered for us, so we got those three sours, but we came here because John really loves a sour, so we wanted to try this place because they have like a whole bunch of sours on draft. So first round is pretty good. Um, we might try a few other ones. And the seltzers are kind of crazy. I had never seen a smoothie seltzer before, and it's not... She's gonna let me try it again. Honestly, I love matcha, but this is hard to drink. Say it's a hard seltzer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got two more. This is the key lime sour. 
And this is like a little Szechuan little pepper flower thing that's basically supposed to be like tingly. So we're gonna give it a try. It's already been like in this, so I feel like the flavor has been distributed. Maybe I didn't. I'm so scared to like. Nope. <laughs> My whole mouth just goes numb. <laughs> mm. It's good. It's not super key limey. It's definitely bit very sour. I really am not getting as much of this as I thought I was going to. That's probably because it's about to like really sneak up on me. I'm. And then the other one I got is not a sour. It's called. Show me the bunny, and it's like carrot cake. It's so sweet compared to that one. I was not ready for that. Definitely sweet, but it's like a darker ale, obviously. That's cool, they have a lot of cool flavors. Oh, what is this one? So Jamie got one of another of the hard seltzers. This one isn't the smoothie one, and it's a strawberry what? Kiwi. Strawberry kiwi. It's a pretty color. Oh, that's lovely. It's very light, very good. Oh, I can taste the little pepper now. <laughs> it like snuck up on me. this beautiful brown bread along with our potato leek soup we ordered pizza from across the street and so we're waiting for it to be ready but we were like this place looks like they have really good food and it smells good so we wanted to try a little something something look at it that looks so good it smells so good that looks delicious it's hot Temperature hot, obviously. Look at that steam. I'm trying to not burn myself. Christian already dived into the brown bread and he said it was really good. We don't know the Gaelic term. Very good. Kind of looks like banana bread. Oh, man, that is delicious. We had to take a break from our Irish bar, but we are going back because they are playing live music at 7.30. So we ordered our pizza and it is here. Check it. Got the Bianca. Jamie got the Bianca. Christian got the margarita. I can't see it. Margarita. And John got, what is this one called? Pepperoni explosion. Pepperoni explosion. All right, so we just finished our pizza. It was so good. Highly recommend this place. Get the Bianca if you don't really like red sauce. I loved it. We are gonna go watch the um, live music over at the Irish bar across the street and we are closing it out here. I hope John had a good birthday. Um, we, or cell birthday celebration yesterday was his birthday. Make sure you tell him happy birthday in the comments. He is 30 today. Like this, well, yesterday, oh my God. 30, He's 30 40. now. And 30 flirty and thriving so like this video subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in the next one bye like comment subscribe Woo!